Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I've thought about doing a day in the life videos because it's been requested a lot, but it's kind of hard for me to consolidate my day down to really watching me read or watching me discuss with clients, which I can't really film, is not the part I can really cover. Um, but I will start with, yes, I still have the Tesla. A few people have asked, you, asked me on Vlog Thursday saying, hey, can you do some more Tesla videos? I've been really working on it because I did wrap it, and I know a few people said, hey, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, but I want to start with, you know, what do I do here I, besides drive here in my car? <laughs> and I'm going to walk through the door, which is actually propped open. And there's a reason for that. And that's where my day started. And I thought, hey, wait for the camera to adjust. And that is some uh, first part of interesting content of what I do as a business owner here. So my day started like, hey, I got this idea. I'm going to do this PF Sense thing. I got a video idea. I haven't done a getting started video in two years. And why not go ahead and cover that? Uh, nothing on my agenda this morning. So that just seems like a great thing to do. So um, this is the front lobby of our building. That's the door that's propped open. And the reason it's propped open because it was not too warm in here, but not quite as cool as it should have been. No alarms were going off, um, but it turns out, and I'm gonna walk towards the back of the building and show you where my day started. With the back door open, because this is where our HVAC is, and it wasn't working right. The system froze up. So the first thing I had to do was uh, contact an HVAC people and say, hey, our uh, HVAC system is froze, kick the doors open, let some of the warm air out and defrost it. So sometimes those are the fun things you have to do. Now, I will give you a quick overview of what goes on here as far as projects goes. Now, I don't always do behind the scenes on these because I'm not sure how to make them interesting is the best way I describe it. I mean, they're constantly a flow of things that come in and happen. As a MSP, as an IT provider, you know, managed service provider, IT provider, we just have projects constantly Constantly. There is like never ending backlog of them. Um, and you know, we keep on balance. I shouldn't say backlog, just uh, enough stuff in the queue that things are getting done all the time persistently. And um, we'll start with this. This was a new client. Their IT person fell off the planet after they sold them a server. And uh, apparently they had the server for two months waiting for a callback to set it up. And uh, so they decided to find a new IT company. Now, we had to get the Windows licenses, the Kales. The person only sold them the server. It's a nice uh, T640 here, well specced, but with no one to set it up, it doesn't do much. So we're doing that one and picked them up as a client, which has been going really well. This is ugly. Those are some old, yes, those are some old ugly computers that are going to be part of a point of sale system. Um, they were part of a point of sale system. We're getting swapped out to have some SSDs in there. Yeah, I know they're older, but those are projects sometimes we do for some of the small clients we have in small business. They don't got the budget. They have the computers that were given to them by someone else, and now they just want to pay us to set them up. But for what these run, a dedicated basic point of sale app, they'll work fine. Boxed up over here, but not really going anywhere just yet because we're waiting on the building to be finished. Yes, this is a Unify Protect. Yes, this is August of 2020. And yes, we're selling someone a Unify Protect system despite the Unify video uh, being dead video that I did. Now, the reason why they already have, this is an expansion in, of their current building and they have well, a bunch of Unify cameras. Rather than rip and replace, they only want, I think, one or two more cameras, um, and I already have eight or nine, and so adding a Unify NVR to swap it out makes sense to go to the Unify Protect. I'm less than thrilled with what happened with the Unify Video product line, but they did specifically say Unify Video product line. The rest of the Unify stuff, like they have um, with the expansion they're building, I'm really happy with their networking gear in terms of their switches and access points, which are down here as well. So that is, uh, you know, one of the projects that's kind of rolling out that maybe if I have some time because it's a new build on this, I will be doing a video on on-site. Now, speaking of Unify, I, if you follow me on Twitter, you, you see me post like quantities of these. Here's all of them boxed up, ready to go with all the labels on them. And people asked how we labeled them. Pretty really basic labeling and uh, put a sticker on them and then they get deployed. Now, there's also a couple other servers you see here. This one's being set up for a proxy for a client for some basic web application that they're using. So those are just like a glimpse of some of the projects that are going on all the time here. Now, coming into the studio area where you mostly see my videos being filmed, we have 
the Unify, I'm sorry, not Unify, we had a Unify switch, but uh, the Synology SA3200D just published a video on that yesterday. The Super Micro Super Storage Server, which has been fun for all the demos I've been setting up. Now the part I'm looking for a little feedback on is I get a lot of requests for videos about what do I do. So besides making sure all these projects are going and sometimes getting disrupted at my plan for a project because well the HVAC system or something business related comes up that I have to directly deal with, a lot of my time is spent replying to emails, strategizing with clients on what the next project is, which is not something easy to film because well a lot of it's reading, a lot of it's researching best practice, coming up with the idea, and going, hey, we should implement like this, or hey, you know, it'd be better if we did some of these things. Now, I do a limited amount of client interaction, a lot of my focus as the owner of the business. You've heard the phrase a million times, probably work on the business, not in the business. I kind of keep my hands a little bit in both. So I'll be there for a strategy session of how something should be done, offer my input, but I'm always trying to make sure my staff takes the lead, that way the business can work without me between sales and implementation. But when it comes to product choice and which way I steer the business, that's where I still have a very active involvement which of course I get feedback from, like Synology would be an example where I don't do a lot of Synology videos. We actually deploy a high number of Synologies and I've been wanting to do a little bit more videos on them, but because I actually don't use the Synology directly myself, my staff has learned it very well and knows how to integrate it in with our clients and get everything configured and set up. And that's one of the gaps sometimes there are, but I do know the product and be by interacting with my staff on it and talking about, hey, how's it going? And following up with these installations and they're like, oh yeah, client's happy, system works good. These are parts of the business that I do spend time on making sure I get feedback on there. Then that kind of turns into sometimes my reviews on the channel, especially with the Unify equipment, of course, which we use a lot of. Uh, we do a lot of these big deployments. Matter of fact, the pile of them that I showed earlier is for a company that would be our fourth warehouse we're doing, fourth or fifth warehouse we're doing for them. And uh, I did one video at one of the new warehouses. I can't do the videos at the existing warehouses because they don't really want cameras flying around there. But what I'm looking for is what are some of the other things besides my tutorials that would you know, be a good fit for my channel. Now I sprinkle some business videos in here and there. I've considered doing more of them, but then putting them on a separate channel. The challenge with YouTube dramatically is setting up any type of second channel because what we learned from doing the How They Got Hacked channel is if I set up a channel and exactly title all the videos the same way on a separate channel, even if you search going, looking for an exact match, you're lucky until that channel gets like a lot of subscribers that YouTube even bothers listing it. Uh, we've re-uploaded some of that same content, like how they got hacked and realized it took forever for it to show up in any search results. Not like a couple days forever, like weeks before it really started catching on before my channel didn't show up long before the others. So this is the challenge of, I try to keep my channel focused on tech and business. Uh, I do, you know, as an IT provider and business owner want to share a lot of knowledge and throw stuff out there. I know it's popular on the channel, but it's trying to figure out how to sprinkle in a tutorial along with um, some business stuff and then figure out a way not to just separate it all in different channels because it takes so long to build, which seems very logical. That way you're not notified of things that are irrelevant to you because some of you only came here for tutorials and other people go, hey, I like these tutorials, but as a business owner and I get a lot of feedback on this, they thank me for you know help I've given and advice I've given in some of my business videos, which I think is great. I love hearing that feedback and I like sharing this knowledge. I don't think uh, sharing that knowledge out there takes away at all from me. There's been that weird concept of, well, if you tell people how you do pricing, man, someone will just copy your business model and beat you with it type thing. And I'm like, not really. It's not played out that way, despite how many videos I've done on this topic. And I even know local, local people who do the same thing. Matter of fact, I'm going to go meet with a local MSP owner in a couple hours and have a great conversation. We'll share notes. I've met several local businesses with, within 30 minutes of me. So I'm going to say that's pretty local, you know, overlapping territories, if you will. And matter of fact, they've become friends. So uh, sharing notes and having peer groups like that actually is quite great. So let me know what you're looking for more of on here. This is just kind of a channel update on that. Uh, the day in the life is maybe what I'll throw in there. I know people are kind of looking for that, but it's hard to do a day in the life when most of the day in the life for me is uh, reading emails and talking to clients. I've seen some of the program people just do a bunch of time lapses and stuff like that. And I don't know, they, they have my, time lapses are cool if you want to see something being built, but watching me type on a keyboard and read emails as a time lapse sounds uh, 
boring and uninteresting. Uh, but they do it artfully. Some people do it artfully, so I guess there's that, and I'm, that's less me. So, anyways, uh, let me know what you'd like to see more of, uh, and you know how if there's a framework or a specific thing in the business topics you think I should do, or if enough of you would be willing to subscribe to a dedicated business channel, and then I could like put that over on a separate channel and keep this channel uh, more for the reviews and tutorials and then keep the business stuff on a separate channel. Um, what I don't know, I'm looking for ideas. That's uh, I like reaching out to the audience and I love hearing from all of you and getting the feedback and I do read a lot and reply a lot to the comments and of course uh, ongoing discussions in the forums. And thanks, that's it, that's all I got for this one. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.